Hello everybody, this is Matador from FreeTradingVideos.com About 8.30 a.m. on April 27th, 2010 Nice Tuesday, we've got Bruin here looking at the S&P 500 ETF And every time the futures fall, they blame it on Greece <laughs> uh, Anyway, I kind of think that's funny Anyway, so looking at this uh, sell-off here Nice little consolidation and then a little bit of a sell-off Like I said, pre uh, post-market uh, Zooming out or looking at a higher time frame, again, accomplishes the same idea. And if you re remove all this pre and post market data, show you a little trick, day only, that's where we closed. So that's a pretty good size uh, run up and then sell off. So that was definitely a break of uh, 121.70 that we've been uh, looking at uh, intraday. You can see all these lows here. Nice hovering around the 200 MA. On a little three minute chart here, nothing much to uh, speak of, but pretty good size sell off, and this is where we're opening right now at 120.80. That's a pretty good gap. We would need to even go out of time frame here, go to a 15 minute chart to see that we're all the way down to 120.80. Right through here, 120.50 is a pretty good level of support. There's a nice swing low right here, uh, below that 120. So if you look out even further, you can see that we're still in the confines of a very nice uh, move upwards. I still think, uh, think that anything above 120 will still be uh, the nice brewing of a high base. And I can just come back out now and grab that. Excellent charting. So 120, any kind of pullback right through here uh, makes a lot of sense again into what we're running up into. And that was a very powerful rally. Uh, this is also into the face of DuPont doing well, uh, doubling their first quarter profits. And so you need to take note of that. Definitely uh, getting priced in uh, very quickly, uh, regardless of uh, why. You need to look at that and uh, take note. Make sure, especially that you have the tick and the trend in your camp. Uh, watch this gap fill if we get one today. <clears throat> if we don't, that'll be another added a bit of bearishness, if that's a good word. And if we do fill completely, look for a higher swing low, and maybe we can work our way back out of that into the above the 121.50 mark. Uh, good resistance still at 122. Nice swing highs up through here as well, and um, that's what I'm looking for. So there's a great line right here if we get back up to the 121.85 area to support broken resistance over and over and over again. So that's what I'd like to see. Uh, but who knows? Again, watch how we get priced in, and especially take apart the tick trend in VIX before you get too frisky about going long or short. So hope you have a great trading day. I will be with you around noon to see how things are shaping up. And we also have a Meet the Mentor uh, meeting this afternoon, or this evening. If you are interested in that, you can fill out uh, the sheet on our website. So the meeting starts at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And again, if you're interested, just uh, fill this out, and we will get you an invitation to that meeting. And I hope you have a great trading day, everybody.